Hey everybody, Mattis Faction here, and today I'm just going to do a, uh, a quick rundown of a knife. It's in this box here, and uh, you know, it's a... Uh, it was loaned to me to pass on as part of a, uh, uh, a thing for a thing. Today's beverage, of course. Uh, so, here we are. This is a uh, condor. And is a big boy. If I'm not to slice the fingertips off. Ooh, that was close. Look at that hit right there. Uh, this is the Condor Moonshiner. I have my list of notes here. Uh, Condor Moonshiner. So we're going to we'll, we'll run through this. Uh, so this is going to somebody. And uh, I think they will most likely appreciate it. Uh, but just having it, I know that I myself require something like this. This is just... And uh, yeah, that roughly translates to I must have... All right, so let's get into some specs here, and then we'll, we'll we'll take a look at it. So the blade is 9.25 inches, and uh, it's a satin finish. The cutting or the thickness is 0.14 inch. There we go. That's a thick boy. Uh, full flat grind, which is pretty cool. The handle is made out of wood. Full tang. Look at that. Look at that. That's just, that's what you like to see in a excellent uh, camping bushcraft uh, style knife. The steel is 1075. The weight is 1.3 uh, pounds. One pound, three ounces, I mean. Made in El Salvador. And uh, that's all the specs that I uh, wish to give because, you know, what else do you need to know? It's a drop point. This is a little bit sharpened. Not not too fine. I can rub my finger on it. But with it sharpened, it makes it good for stabby motions. You know, get into some meat and cut it. And uh, yeah, you know, I just, I really like the looks of this thing. You know, if you got rid of this little swedge here, it could be like a nice clip point or a, maybe a beauty. Uh, but man, the, the comfort level is really nice. I have big hands and my hands fit in there. And if I go all the way up, you know, I got room for a, a six finger. If I were the six fingered man, but I'm not. I'm the five-fingered man. Man, that is so cool. And I don't know if this is the original edge or not. I think it I think it is. I think it's the original edge. Definitely feels sharp, but this is more of a chopper, so I mean it's not a slicer you could use this for some serious food prep slice those beef ribs apart man that thing is just cool let's do some size comparison so everybody's got a bug out let me slide the sheath over let's put that there in the middle so here's a bug out you know tip tip uh, here's a Gungnir. Gungnir is a pretty big folder. Here's a Cold Steel Espada. Espada is longer. 
I can't even fit that like on all the camera. There we go. There we go. Let's get this bug out out of here. Let's go. So the bug out just, I mean, the a spotter gives you like that much extra handle. But if you were to do, like, say this was representative of this, then the condor wins, especially in blade cutting length. This is just extra. Actually, the spotter would look cool with just this kind of handle. Shorten the blade, put the large blade on this handle instead of the XL. That would be kind of cool. But we're not here for that. We're here for this. So the Condor Moonshiner is a big, beefy, uh, swissy knife. I like it. Oof, I like that too. Uh, here's a uh, typical slip joint. This is a brother. There you go. Just put it on the blade. Listen. Oh, I love it. Here's a silver dollar. Guns gave me that. Thank you, Guns. Good man. But. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm not going to use it to uh, cut or slice. It's not mine. I just get to take a look at it. So this is just a short, like, little initial, uh, you know, take a look at it. I mean, look at that. Huge. That's just amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to see whoever gets this put it to use. This thing is going to be awesome. And the sheath is pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, the handle fits in there a little bit as well. So I believe it had an old style that would stop right there. But now they designed it so the handle goes in there about that far. And it's in there pretty good. It ain't coming out. And you got this swivel put on your belt. When you bend over, you can, you know, tilt it so it's out of the way. It doesn't just stab into the ground. And uh, you can pull it out with enough fingers that you won't slice the fingertip off. My son would appreciate that. There's the logo. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so what kind of wood is this? Let me check. Let's see if it says what kind of wood. I have a website up here, uh, Blade HQ. It just says hardwood scales. Uh, let's see. Let's check out Knife Center. What is Knife Center got? to say about all this. Um, hardwood handles are made from hardwoods of Central America, similar to hickory. So there you go. And uh, yeah, it, this thing is sweet. So that's all I got for you. This is just a quick little look-see. Uh, I definitely would uh, like one. And this thing is awesome. And uh, I know it's going to go to a good home. I will miss you. And uh, that's Lancelot Leather. And yeah, so once it's delivered, I will let you know who's got it. And you can see it in action, hopefully, on their channel. But until then, I'll catch you next time.